Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send Facebook leads to Telegram. So I am an owner of a business and to promote my business, I'm running Facebook lead ads. So my objective is that, that as soon as a new lead is generated by any of my customers with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a message should be forwarded on my Telegram group that I've created related to the details of the lead that has been generated with the help of Facebook lead ads. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Telegram with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect runs on two concepts that is trigger and action. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads and my action application is going to be Telegram. So if you want to learn how to do this automation, then let me take you out to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to send Facebook lead ads to Telegram. So I am an owner of a business and to promote my business, I'm running Facebook lead ads. So my objective is that, that as soon as a new lead is generated by any of my customers with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that lead should be forwarded as a message on my Telegram account. For that, what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Facebook and Telegram with the help of Pabli Connect. So on this screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect after browsing this website we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account but if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month as I'm an existing user I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account after signing in, you can see the All Pabli Apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as send Facebook leads to Telegram. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow and for that click on this drop down arrow and these are the folders from which I'm going to select Facebook lead ads automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder we're going to click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send Facebook leads to Telegram and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens an action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly what we're going to do is we're going to set up our trigger step by clicking on this arrow and for the trigger application we are going to select it as Facebook lead ads so i'm going to select my trigger application as facebook lead ads and for the trigger event i'm going to select it as new lead instant because i want that whenever a new lead is generated with the help of facebook lead ads automatically and instantly public connect should capture the response after that we're going to click on connect in order to connect facebook lead ads with public connect a new window is going to appear on which you have to click on add new connection but if you have an existing connection you can choose this option before clicking on the connect with facebook lead ads remember to log into your facebook account already on a new tab so the connection between public connected facebook lead ads will be much easier okay after that i'm I'm going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. As you can see that we fully authorized Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After connecting Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect over here it is asking for us to select a page. So in my Facebook account I have created a page for my business in the name of Fintrix. This is the name of my business right over here. So I have created this business page right over here. And with the help of this page I will be promoting my Facebook lead ads. So what we are going to do is for the page right over here we are going to select it as Fintrix. So I am going to select my Facebook page as Fintrix. Next over here it is asking for us to select a lead gen form. So I have created a lead ads form in the name of Facebook lead ads form. So for the lead gen form over here I am going to select it as Facebook lead ads form. After selecting the page and the form we are going to click on save and send test request. As soon as you go to do that over here it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to generate a test lead with the help of Facebook lead ads and we are going to check whether public can it captures the response of that test lead or not. For that I am going to open my lead ads testing tool. With the help of this tool we are going to generate the test lead. If you want to learn how to have the access of this page then you can check out our YouTube channel okay. Firstly after opening lead ads testing tool it is asking for the page. So for the page over here I am going to select it as Fintrix okay and next it is asking for us to select a form I'm going to select it as Facebook lead ads form after selecting page in the form click on preview form right over here 
So as you can see, this is the form that I've created with the help of Facebook lead ads. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we're going to fill in all the details that this form is asking for. It is asking for the full name, email, and the phone number. So we are going to fill in all the details for the full name over here. I'm going to write it as dummy account. The full name is dummy account. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as dummy account at the rate pablitudes dot com. And for the phone number, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. So after filling all the details, I'm going to click on continue and then on submit to do a form submission. As you can see that over here it says your test lead has been sent. So now I'm going to open my public init account and I'm going to check whether public init has captured the response of the test lead that we have generated with the help of lead ads testing tool or not. For that, I'm going to open a workflow that I've created. I'm going to scroll down. And yes, as you can see right over here in few seconds, the response is captured in our workflow that we have created to tally the response of full name as dummy account, email as dummy account at the rate publicroots.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number and all the other details. So this means that we successfully created a connection between Facebook lead ads and public connect and a trigger setup is done. After setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step and as our objective is that, that as soon as a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a message should be forwarded on our Telegram account. So for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as Telegram bot. And for the action event as send a text message or reply. Okay. After selecting the action application and the event, we're going to click on connect in order to connect Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. Then a new window is going to appear on which we have to click on add new connection. Over here, it is asking for the token. With the help of this token, we are going to connect Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. For that, we have to open our Telegram account. So I'm going to open my Telegram account. As you can see, this is my Telegram account and in my Telegram account, we have to search for bot father. Okay. So what you have to do in the search bar, search for bot father. We are going to select bot father. So this is a bot father right over here. And as we want to create a new bot to send messages on our Telegram group, what we are going to do is we are going to over here, it says for creating a new bot, you have to select this option right over here. So I'm going to select as new bot right over here. Over here, it is asking for the name of the bot that we're going to call. For the name of my bot, I'm going to give it as Facebook lead ads. I'm going to click on send. As you can see over here, it is asking for us to select a username. For the username, I'm going to copy this bot name from here. Paste it right over here. I'm going to write it as one, two, three, four. And in the end, we have to give it as underscore bot. So I'm going to write over here as and after that, I'm going to send this. As you can see over here, the bot is successfully created and a token is provided. So by clicking on this token, we are going to copy it and we are going to paste the token right over here. So this is the token of the bot that we have created. Okay. And then we're going to click on save. So as you can see that we successfully connected Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. But now what we have to do is we have to active the bot that we have created. For that, you have to click on this link that is the bot right over here. I'm going to click on this link. So this is the bot right over here and it is not active. So we're going to click on start right over here. So as you can see, the bot is now has been started. So as the bot is now created, you can see it says Facebook lead ads is a bot right over here that we have created. I want this bot to send Facebook lead ad details to this group that I've created. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a member to this group right over here. And now I'm going to add a member to this group right over here. As you can see that I've successfully added the bot in this group right over here. Okay. But now we have to give the access to the bot by making him the admin so that he can send messages in this group right over here. Okay. Because only admins can send messages in this group. So I'm going to create this bot as admin with the help of my mobile. So as you can see right over here, Facebook lead ads, that's the bot is now admin in this group. Now th that means the bot can send messages in this group right over here. So now what we are going to do is we are going to set up the action step in our workflow that we have created. Firstly, it is asking for the chat ID. With the help of this chat ID, we are going to connect the group that we have created with the help of Telegram with Pabli Connect. This is the group that I've created with the help of Telegram, okay, in the name of Facebook lead ads details. And I want that the notification of newly generated with the help of Facebook lead ads should be forwarded in this group right over here. So what we're going to do is we have to have the chat ID of this group. In the top URL, you can see this is the URL of this group right over here. And in the URL after hash, you can see there are numbers. So this is the chat ID right over here after the hash right over here. I'm going to copy this ID and I'm going to paste the ID right over here of the group. Okay. After that, it is asking the text message, the message that we want to send on our Telegram group. For the message right over here, I'm going to write it as, so as you can see that this is the message that I want to send on my Telegram group. It says new lead alert from Facebook lead ads. Hi team, great news. We have a new lead from our Facebook lead ads campaign. 
Here are the details, lead information, name, email, phone number, source as Facebook lead ads. Make sure to follow up the lead promptly to ensure we convert this opportunity into a sale. Thanks for your hard work and let's keep up the momentum. Best regards. So this is the message that I want to send on my Telegram group. For the details of the name, email, and phone number, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this automation process. And how are we are going to insert the data? We have to click on this field right over here. As soon as you are going to click on this field over here, it says Facebook lead ads new lead instant. If I am going to click on this arrow, this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. It is asking for the name. I am going to map the data for the name right over here. As I map the data right over here, what happens is the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here in place of this map data is going to be updated. Next, it is asking for the email. I am going to map the data for the email. And next, it is asking for the phone number. So, I am going to map the data for the phone number as well. After filling all the details of the message right over here, I don't require all these fields. So, I am going to skip the part and then I am going to click on save and send test request. As soon as you're going to do that over here, you can see a response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my group that I've created in my Telegram account and I'm going to check whether a new message is forwarded on my Telegram account related to the details of my Facebook lead ads that has been generated or not. For that, I'm going to open my group. And yes, as you can see right over here, a new message is forwarded on my Telegram group. Over here it says new lead alert from Facebook lead ads with the details as dummy account, dummy account at the rate pablitude.com for a phone number, dummy move mobile number so as Facebook lead ads. So this means that we fully created an automation between Facebook lead ads and Telegram with the help of Pabli Connect. But now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate another test lead with the help of lead ads testing tool of Facebook lead ads and I'm going to check whether a notification regarding the new lead has been forwarded on our group that we have created in our Telegram account or not. For that, I'm going to open my lead ads testing tool. You can see this is a lead ads testing tool. With the help of this tool, we are going to generate the test lead over here. It's you can create one lead per form. You need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. And with the help of this form that we have created with the help of Facebook lead ads, we have already generated a test lead. So I'm going to delete the existing lead. After I click on delete lead over here, it says your lead has been deleted. Now we're going to refresh the page. It is very important to first delete the lead and then refresh the page because if you're not going to delete the lead and then refresh the page, you will not be able to generate another lead with the help of this form because you can create only one test lead with the help of this form. Okay. For the page over here, I'm going to select it as Fintrix and for the form, I'm going to select it as Facebook lead ads form. After that, I'm going to click on preview form. This is the form that I've created and it is asking for the full name, email and the phone number. So I'm going to fill in all the details. So as you can see that I've filled in all the details, full name as test user, email as test user, at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number. After that, I'm going to click on continue and submit to do a test submission. As you can see over it says your test lead has been sent. So now I'm going to open my telegram group that I've created and I'm going to check whether a notification regarding the new lead generated is forwarded in our telegram group or not. For that, I'm going to open my telegram group. And yes, as you can see right over here, new messages forwarded on our Telegram group. It says new lead alert from Facebook lead ads. So detail as test user as the name of the lead. Email as test user at the rate pablitudes.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number and source as Facebook lead ads. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Facebook lead ads and Telegram with the help of Pabli Connect. Now to sum up till now what we have done, I am an owner of a business and to promote my business, I am running Facebook lead ads. Here my objective is that, that as soon as a new lead is generated, with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically a message on my Telegram group should be forwarded regarding the details of the lead that has been generated. For that, what we have done is we have created an automation between Facebook lead ads and Telegram with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.